AFTV Graham, fan of VAR now? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was, seems to be waiting for an eternity, didn't we? Uh, and you know what? I, I, I was saying that when they take ages like that, then you're starting to think, you know hey, hang close. on, you know hang on. Yeah. You know it's close when they're taking yeah. ages. Um, I haven't seen it back, but obviously it was against Mesut Ozil, wasn't it? And mm. people, t some people were saying that he was, it was close. Some people were saying he was on by quite a while away, but mm. in the end they got the decision right, and that's the main thing. But I, I think the thing is, I think the fans in the stadium deserve better than to be kept waiting like that for so long. Mm. Uh, I know they got the decision right. But you can't see what's going on, and uh, it must have been terrible for the West Ham fans. It's mm. all right when the decision goes your way, but when it doesn't go your way, um, yeah. obviously that's a different thing. And they were really difficult to break yeah. down today. I mean, yeah. explain how difficult, because for, for long periods of time we couldn't get through. And I just felt that, why are we not running at them more? So yeah. there was one time when yeah. Saka did a brilliant run at them, and that's what you needed to do, and we just weren't doing that today. Yeah, they, they did a, their homework on us really well. They were sort of like 4 2 3 one, but 4 4 2 out of possession. I think the two things I took out of our uh, uh, play today was, I think um, Arteta's got a, a sort of a structure and a, a style, but he's yet to define our attacking play. Mm. Uh, I don't think we move the ball quick enough. We've lost the ability to move it quickly through the lines. I think Sobias was picking the ball up deep and making some nice uh, probing from deep but we've got no pace through the centre of the pitch. And also we've got two players on the right side of our attack who literally are running into the same spaces all the time, Pepe and Ozil. And I think he's going to have to make a choice. I, I said to you before when we did our tactical insight show that I think that um, Pepe should... Uh, we're wasting Pepe in that position because I think um, he's always up against uh, defenders. Uh, there was no nobody to combine with today. You, you play Socrates at right back, uh, you're not going to get any combination out there. And I think Ozil and Pepe both want to come inside. I think what Arteta wants, he wants someone to hold the width. Mm. The person who did that really well in the week was Reese Nelson, who can sort of like play wide and hold the width. Yeah. Pepe and Ozil to me, I think, uh, and I think Pepe was really unlucky to come off today, Robbie, because mm. I thought that he, he, he would add some bright moments. And ironically, Ozil stayed on, who probably should have been the one who came off, mm. but he was the one who got these assists. He's the first assist for two years. Uh, and, but we were shocking today. First half, Robbie, not one single shot on target. Mm. In fact, the goal was our first attempt on target. I thought Lacazette made a difference when he came on, yep. and I think Eddie struggled with the physicality. Mm. We looked at Pablo Mari today. I thought he struggled. I thought he mm. struggled with the pace and the physicality of the game. And I thought if you want to find a centre-half, you only had to look across in the opposition to see an absolute physical monster. Yeah. Diop, yeah. he was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, but it is Murray's first game. Yeah. And there were some nice moments from him, some nice passing from him. Yeah. And I felt that in the year he did well. Yeah, I mean, because the amount of corners and that they had, and we did, you know, we didn't concede from any set pieces today. Did you see that corner we gave away with Socrates? I ushered it, ushered yeah, yeah. it out. I thought, no, it was, it was gonna, I thought it was going to be Olympiacos all over again. Yeah, I think very lucky in the first half when he slipped. Yeah. When, yeah. yeah, I thought West Ham had the better chances first half. I thought they were very unlucky to lose the game. Uh, we, as uh, you've said, snatched and grabbed it, really. Uh, but we didn't deserve to win it, but we got it in its three points. I think the two things we lack is physicality in the centre of our defence, and I think we need a, an imposing centre-half. I've been saying that for a long time. Can't keep buying budget centre-halves, Robbie. Can't keep buying budget centre-halves. You're going to have to pay money to get a top-quality, physical, powerful centre-half. And we need speed through the centre of the pitch, and I think we need to end this experiment down the right-hand side. I think he's got the left-hand side structured, right? I long to see Aubameyang and Pepe closer together. They are our key offensive players, and they're playing so wide apart. Uh, but um, I think he needs to decide what he's going to do on the right-hand side, Robbie. Uh, I think that Pepe, if you look back when he used to play for uh, Lille, was it? Um, uh, yeah, Lille. Uh, basically, they used to give him, um, he used to pick the ball up and just run with the ball, didn't he? And that's, that is his strength. But you're putting him on the right-hand side, he's got no one to combine with. And I think the fact that he's playing Socrates there tells you that AZ Maitland-Niles, he's not going to consider him as a right-back. I, I can't understand why Ainsley's not in the team right now. It's hard for me to, because Socrates is not a right-back, but... No, I, I, I think... Manager's going to say we've well, no, got I the think, win. I think he's bought Cedric Suarez, yeah. and him and Bellerin will be contesting the right-back spot. I think Maitland-Niles, his only way into the side is in central midfield. Mm. And I think he's obviously his attitude's not right in training, but I don't think he's good enough to get into our central midfield at the moment. Um, you could argue that he, he adds physicality and pace and maybe a bit of power that he can run with the ball. Maybe, yeah. we, we, maybe, maybe we, he's that pace for maybe, talking Maybe about. we lack that today, but I think... Ultimately, I'm, I'm looking at Meza Ozil and Pepe, and they seem to be playing very similar roles. And I think maybe he's going to, if he's going to make a choice next season, I know 
Uh, we've got to make a decision on Ozil at the end of the season, don't we? We say it last year, we say it again this year. Um, I think he's not the player he was. He's in decline. Pepe, we paid £72 million for Pepe. He's the future. And I think we, we, we can't set him up to fail. We've got to put him in a place in the team and a part of the pitch where we get the best out of him. And for me, that's moving him more central and looking to combine with someone like Aubameyang.